Hi, I'm Rod McDonald, the instructor here at Grace Harbor College for the welding program. It's the 19th of January, 2010, about 9 o'clock in the morning. And uh, by popular demand, we're going to take a little walk through the shop here uh, to show you what some of the projects are that we, that we do and what our facility looks like. The main shop here is 85 feet by 60 feet, and then we also have an outside area that's 50 by 60. We do a lot of destructive testing, and Eric here is prepping. Uh, that well, actually, Eric's doing a fabrication project for our auto shop right now. We'll take a look at that project a little bit later. We use the plasma a lot, though, to, to cut and prepare samples for destructive testing, for tinsel tests um, primarily. Jig welding an 8 inch Schedule 80 pipe. In the sixth quarter of the program, we do certification testing, and uh, Alex will be doing a, a certification test on uh, that 8 inch Schedule 80 here uh, by the end of the week. We have eight of these nine foot by eight foot welding booths. They all have 480 volt, three phase, 50 amp service, in addition to some, uh, uh, a secondary primary power outlet. They all have dry compressed air, and they all have 110 uh, power as well. Everything you see in the booths just about is built by the students. The work benches, the, the uh, sliding tables, the uh, mount there that's holding the water cooler, the lead racks that are on the walls. Pretty much everything you see around the shop that's made out of steel was built by the students. For example, these bottle racks that are up against the wall, we have a nice tube bender. And these were some projects that the guys did in our fabrication course, which is the fifth uh, course in our two-year program. Uh, a couple years back, they built these. Daniel's in his uh, last quarter. He passed the certification test uh, with the TIG process on pipe last week, and now he's going to do a practice test with flux cord wire with shielding gas on plate, vertical and overhead. And after he passes that, then he'll move on to a 8 inch Schedule 80 pipe with backing ring. And he'll probably take the uh, actual test for the flux cord wire on pipe in a week or two. We're fortunate, we're one of the few shops that has a Dynasty 700, and Lisa's is over here uh, building one of the fabrication projects that's uh, part of the fifth quarter curriculum. It's a, uh, in her particular case, it's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight-sided, Tread plate uh, aluminum garbage can, and the dimensions are given uh, for the height, the opening at the top, opening at the bottom, and she had to figure out all the layout to make that uh, happen before she cut the parts. And uh, how's it going, Lisa? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. John. Well, taking my picture. John here is in the second quarter, and uh, he's practicing on some destructive tests that we do in that in the second quarter course on aluminum. 
He'll do uh, eighth inch and quarter inch T joints, lap joints, and corner joints. They'll all have to pass a visual inspection and a destructive test before that particular assignment is complete. We have a pretty nice shop. We have a great big uh, uh, abrasive shot saw, nice Kalamazoo horizontal man saw, several roll around welders, a tubing bender, nice uh, Burkane belt sander. Right behind that, uh, the blue item is our uh, tubing knot, uh, tubing bender. And then we have a bead roller next to that, a Scotch and cold saw. Down at the end, we have a, a beautiful uh, drill press with powered feet, a nice Scotsman vertical band saw, nice set of rod oven rod ovens there with a rack that one of the guys built uh, a couple quarters ago in the fabrication course. We have a, a P50 Piranha iron worker. Let's take a look at this nice rack that Matt built. Before we store all of our TIG rod. There's an aluminum stool on the ground. That's also one of the required fabrication projects that's in the fifth quarter curriculum. The students are given a blueprint for that, and then uh, they all have to build that. Here's our storeroom. Primarily, it's where we keep electrodes. We go through an awful lot of it. This room here is where we burn our pipe for uh, uh, our night class and for certification testing. We don't use the pipe burners very much in our day courses because we work on big sections of pipe outside, but we do need it for preparing samples for certification testing. Pretty much everything you see in here was built by the students as well, all the racks and tables and stuff. Outdoors, we use these Oki burners for uh, primarily for three inch schedule 40 pipe, and then we have the big one for eight inch schedule 40 and 8 inch schedule 80. Those three sizes are, make up the, the bulk of our pipe welding assignments. We have a burning table here that we can put a plasma cutting torch head in, but normally we use oxyacetylene and uh, has a 2x2 two two capability for tracing out patterns and burning iron. We have a 100 ton press break, the AccuPress there, and uh, there's projects in the curriculum that require the students to use that as well as every other piece of equipment in the shop. <laughs> Over to the left there we have a, the, the matching Accu shear has a quarter inch uh, mild steel capacity. Both have a 10 foot bed. Pardon me. That's Todd. Todd's setting up an assignment right here. What he's going to do is take these plates and they're going to bolt into the square holes on this table. You can see there's one here and one there. Once those plates are bolted in place, it's going to run a big piece of, a long piece of uh, three inch schedule 40 pipe all the way through. So it'll poke out this side and run out the other side. And then he's going to put fillet welds 